Now a CBS 46 crime alert. The search is on for a killer in Sandy Springs. It has been nearly a year since someone stabbed 71 year old Kay Thomas into death in her home. Police tell us they are now hopeful they will find who killed her. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live in Sandy Springs with an update. Ashley. Alicia, police say they want justice for Kay. She was living alone inside of this house behind me when she was brutally murdered. The house now sitting empty nearly one year after the crime. It was a crime that shocked this picturesque Sandy Springs neighborhood. 71 year old Kay Thomason stabbed to death inside her house on Old Woodbine Road. We just never have had anything like this. Nearly one year ago, police swarmed the community, speaking with neighbors, gathering evidence, and hunting for a killer. People were on alert, and several of us added uh, security lights and cameras. Thomason's relatives found her body after she missed an appointment. The man seen in this surveillance video outside her house is wanted for the crime. A $100,000 reward is still on the table. That's a lot of money for something. You don't hear those kind of rewards. You know, because of the reward, we expected to get a few more tips than we did. Although there's been a lack of leads, Sandy Springs police say there is a reason to be hopeful. Right now we have DNA evidence at a private lab that we're waiting on some additional test results to come back. And we've been given some very optimistic feedback from the lab. He says those test results should come back within the next four to six weeks. We've never stopped work in this case. Now, police believe the suspect in that surveillance video also stole Kay's car. That car was later recovered, and police tell me they are testing DNA from inside of it. For now, I'm live in Fulton County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.